7. If you want to call, we'll see if our phones are working. We'll test them with you. Uh, 35192. If you want to text for anything, alancockshow.com. Uh, for all the other stuff, you can watch the show live there. Um, the iHeartRadio app will get the show on uh, in your ears anywhere throughout North America, through Mexico, Canada, uh, and these United States. If you listen to the show from outside of Ohio on iHeartRadio, let me know where you do that and uh, put you on the map. Manny is brand new in Wamama, Florida, which is right near Tampa. Nick is in Volant, PA. Dan is in San Angelo, Texas. Uh, Jason is in Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines, which you might notice is outside North America. Don't know how that works, but okay. Quayon and Matt are bureau chiefs in San Francisco. Joe is in Phoenix. And Courtney and Cole are up in Bemidji, Minnesota. Uh, Cavaliers are at home tonight. They were off last night after losing to the Celtics. Uh, they're going to play the Houston Rockets tonight. That's a 7 o'clock tip. 6.30 is when your pregame will start, right after we get out of here. I saw James Harden show up on uh, Time Magazine, you know, does their year-end list of the most influential people. And other people will make lists of the least influential people. And James <laughs> Harden was on that list. Of least influential? Of least influential people. Watching James Harden play basketball is like being put on hold by an insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> elevator music. <laughs> and they're like, this is a guy that everybody everybody thought they were going to get the new Jordan. And, Nobody um, thought that was... Who? What? He was averaging more points per game than Michael Jordan this season. Yes. And then he... I don't know. I yeah. don't watch him that closely, but whoever wrote this, so this guy, he has an MVP to his name, and he chokes like no one else in the league. All right, well... Everybody he'll be, choked he'll be, because he, every, for the past five years, everybody had to play the Warriors, so... The only person that didn't choke against them was uh, LeBron James because I don't even count Kawhi's because half the team was decimated. So saying that he chokes when he's playing one of the all-time NBA legacy teams is pretty – like this dude just hating. No, don't tell like this it. guy. Don't tell me. But listen, tell I, and I, I got some problems with James Harden's game. He, he, he travels with all this stuff, but, I mean, the choking thing. He, he also took the Warriors to seven games – with Chris Paul getting hurt, and they still were in it. So I, I, I give credit where it's due. Like, that's that's not an easy thing to do, especially against the Kevin Durant level of the Warriors. Is Chris Paul the one who looks like a raptor? It's Chris no, Bosch. that's Chris Bosch. That's Chris Bosch. Um, well, there you go. Now Bill he... Squire disagrees with this person's take on James Harden, who will be at the Romo Fijo tonight. He's changed, he's changed the way that people play basketball. So to say he's not influential, he's... He's got a game that he people are trying to em- emulating, and uh, I mean the dude gets the the free throw time, the free throw time, the free throw line like twenty five times a game. He introduced that elliptical shaped ball, Alan, can you to s- basketball, and then it was um, explained to him that that is a football, <laughs> and he's like, "I'm just trying to change up the game here, man. That's I'm right. trying to be influential out here in the paint." That yes. would make sense for him to use that ball because he doesn't like to dribble a lot, so that's a harder ball to dribble. Yeah. <laughs> It'll good. bounce off in directions <laughs> unknown. Yes, pound cake. Can you see your phone screen? Can I see my phone screen? Yeah. I can. Do you see the message that I wrote? I don't. Okay. So the phones still aren't working because there was people on hold for like... Seriously? Ten minutes. <laughs> no, I can't I, I thought you, I, mean, I thought I, you I, just didn't want to pick them up. No, I had, I had, uh, I had Adam reboot I my whole phone thing so at the top ex- of the show. Exit out and then I'll exit out too so we'll be on the same level because he did something in here too so I don't know. Okay, I can see it now. Can you see this? Okay. I assume that's from you, or I have ghosts in the machine. Ooh, Ooh. that's creepy. Did you touch the Ouija board? Now my screen froze. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean... Yeah, I can't move uh, anything. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I can see, can you see this? I reopened my thing. Um, but okay, well, I, I apologize if you were on hold. I wasn't ignoring you. I just didn't show that anyone was on hold. What, what they want to talk about. I don't remember now. This is, this is like a whole <laughs> Well, because I, I, I just ran into Adam in the hallway. He goes, hey, how are the phones? I go, I don't know. I haven't gotten any calls. <laughs> okay. yeah. And he goes, well, really? And I go, and then I and then I start thinking, 
Oh, oh that's interesting. Well, <laughs> yeah, I probably should have. Yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, some days I'll get, you know, most days I'll get 10 times more texts than I'll get calls. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're more but I wasn't, igno- we are. It's like yeah. I can do a show with no callers, but I like talking to people, mm-hmm. but if I can't see that they're there. So I wasn't ignoring you if you Call were on back. Hold. Um, well, no, I don't know if I can pick them up. We'll figure it out. I can pick them up over there. You want to do another test again? But I need to know <laughs> that they're on there. Like, in a pinch, I can pick them up off the console. Yeah. But I, if I can't see that they're on hold... Anyway, this is all boring, and I'm explaining yeah. whatever's I'm sorry, going on here. I had to ask, otherwise... No, that's fine. I, I appreciate it, because I didn't see anything that you put up there. So, anyway, James Harden, good at basketball, not at influencing people. Mm-hmm. Nah. He's influencing Kim Kardashian. His shoes are ugly, though. Khloe He's Kardashian dead. to break up with him. He's no, dating years ago. Khloe? He, he did date her years ago. That was a long time I ago. thought he was really weird, because I always pictured him as like a bush. Like his, I hate the mustache-beard combination that he has, and his lips just poke out of it. <laughs> it's gross. It's really gross. I don't know if I'm thinking of the right person. You probably aren't. He's got a big beard. Grandma well, calls him Beardo. Uh, people people used to clever. tell my ex that he looked like, I thought it was James Harden. Uh-huh. Just because he had a beard? I think so. Or because he played basketball with a football? Both. Hmm. <laughs> well, either way, you know, that's how you're going to get people to notice you. No, I'm thinking of the right guy. But on, I mentioned uh, that's in response to Time Magazine's list of the most influential people. At the very top, they had young uh, uh, Greta Thunberg. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody goes, I just can't. I know, right? Somebody said to me that <laughs> Trump Puerto Rico thing. They go, it sounds like the guy who was uh, f- faking his name in Siri. <laughs> I was doing Puerto Rico. Yeah, I played Puerto the clip Rico. yesterday that the guy, right, because Trump uh, gets winded it, with just a few syllables. So Puerto he, Rico. We love Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Puerto Rico. Oh, oh. <laughs> we love Puerto Rico. Yeah. Dude, my mind goes to such a dirty place when you hear that Siri doing that. It sounds like a girl, like, for the first time ever masturbating. <laughs> like, <laughs> doesn't it? Like she's, she's, I don't know. Like, she's like 50 and she's never used a vibrator before. She's a little trepidatious. <laughs> like she's 50? Like, like I'm, this is what I think of. Is Maybe like 13. An, no, like an older lady who's oh, older never lady. used a vibrator before. And like that's the noise. Does. And that's and the noise like, she's... Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 <laughs> I don't know. It's the first thing. When oh, I hear oh, that, oh, I'm oh, like, that's what she would sound like. That's what she was saying. Right? Slow down. This is what I thought all, all right, day. Well, you, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty what good. I thought all day you yesterday. You might be on to something. Yeah. That's what I thought all day yesterday, but I was like, I shouldn't say that. Like, I don't want to say this to them. Like, that might be too <laughs> gross or whatever. But that was all. All I could think, I was like, this sounds like a middle-aged lady using masturbating for the first time. <laughs> like like she was in the church or something yeah. she got a divorce. Barbara have, got a new toy. I got a whole, I have a whole background for this lady. <laughs> That's the noise she makes. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if I can pick these people this up. This is Nell using right. a vibrator for the first time. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. Matt, chicka bay. <laughs> By the way. The tie in the wind. Dad. Okay, I can see people. I'll pick them up over here. Hello, Matt. Oh, I bet I can't hear them anymore, can I? Hey, Matt, can you hear me? No, Matt can't hear me. All right, so we still don't have our phones working. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. It's whatever's going on here. I mean, hey, Andrew. Nope. No, these people can't hear me. I'm sorry, sorry, Andrew. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, Matt. Sorry. Oh, no. So, oh, anyway. Andrew, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. But uh, Greta Thunberg. <laughs> Everybody's like, uh, all I can hear is her doing that death metal version of her speech. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, yeah. How dare you? It's pretty good. Yet, 
suffering. People are suffering. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Um, I also thought of pound cake because every year the dictionary will put out new words. They'll put out the words that are the most mispronounced. And most of the words that are mispronounced, I think it's a little unfair. They go, these are the words that most people mispronounce. But then they were all like proper names, hmm. which you can't really hold against somebody if they don't know how to uh, properly pronounce the guy who runs Turkey. Right. You know? But deter was on that list. Detour. Of course, Pound Cake famously said detour mm. instead of deter. So he's not alone. I certainly did not think that a lot of people were mispronouncing that word if they use it. But he's not alone in that. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes we like to break his balls because obviously some of his uh, mispronunciations are positively demented. <laughs> But <laughs> are they really all that? Yeah, they are. Safe to say. I mean, okay. you know. But detour for deter. Who That's knew? pretty close. Yeah, yeah. But but they are two distinct words yes. with right. two distinct meanings. But I could see people so. making that mistake. Uh, you know, four so, or five years old, you make that mistake. It makes supposedly sense. Supposedly, those kind of things. Supposedly. Paschetti. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> Paschetti, like from the family circus. Mm-hmm. Um. Here's what I liked. The, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, their word of the year is they mm. as a gender-neutral pronoun, right? Mm-hmm. Which makes the usual suspects all mad. They're like, it was already in the dictionary. They're like, yeah, but it's got a new thing now. Yeah. But what I like is the when they add it, just standardized, when they add a word, they'll say, here's a helpful clip how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm like, I think we all got they nailed. Yeah, that's well, let's, like, let's hear it. They. Oh, that's <laughs> how you say it. Oh, they. Very, very Thank helpful. You. Yes. They. Yes. <laughs> Am I saying... <laughs> Am I saying that for... <laughs> they. <laughs> Dumb and dumber. <laughs> 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 the. The. <laughs> They. <laughs> now you're thinking of Barbara with a toy. <laughs> She's on a couch with like butterflies on it. <laughs> butterflies on the couch? You know what I'm talking about? Like those patterned couches. That's <laughs> like, yeah, like a floral, floral print. couches. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Plastic, Plastic will come in it. handy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they also added themselves as one of the words this year because, you know, uh, uh, if if uh, they them yeah they them buddy of mine put a, a joke on the Themself. internet mm-hmm. just so you know themself themself mm. about a reboot of a movie called the league of they their own <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's no gender in baseball <laughs> it made me laugh very hard uh, this used to be their playground an alt-right guy right because they can jokes about they them exactly yeah, right. yes mm-hmm. <laughs> the rockford peaches and Eggplants. What? Peaches and eggplants. Oh, there you go. Yeah. They. Mm, they. That's what it is. Yeah, it is fun to see people get upset at those things. It's like, I feel like pronouns come and go, too. I mean, if you if you get to, we are at a time where people want to be, I think you should call people whatever they want to be called. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but they asked you to. I mean, if literally now is its own antonym, which has been established in the dictionary, and language is a fluid thing. And so if your um, uh, gender is as fluid as your language, uh, who cares? But, you know, you'll see a lot of people getting pissed off at that. Something that really doesn't affect them in any way whatsoever, because the chances are in your day-to-day life, you will probably not know someone who is gender neutral. Mm -hmm. At this point, it's probably pretty rare that you'll find yourself in a position where you're using the wrong pronoun. Some they. Hmm? Not someone, some they. Some they. Is it some they? (laughs) I'm asking. <laughs> don't do that. Too. I think someone is probably <laughs> still okay, is fine. right? I don't know. Yeah. I had a friend who, uh, well, I have a friend. She's dating a gender neutral person, and uh, she would, as she got more drunk, she would mess it up. She would, like, she was very, very proper and would, would correct people and things mm-hmm. like that. And then the more drinks she had, she would refer to her, her partner as she. And, uh, I, I also I wanted think, to call her on it, but she had also had like six beers. And I'm like, yeah, I'm of gonna, course. I'm not going to poke the bear on this one, mm-hmm. but like, yeah, of course. 
Right. Like slip out almost. But or... I think but I think the learning curve on something that we're just making up. Yeah. You gotta give a little leeway give a little for that too. Time, if you're right. changing your mm-hmm. pronoun, like cool, you know, God bless. Well it's like yeah. when you yell at your kids and you have to run through all the names before you get to the one. My grandma like, would do that. I'll be like, Scott Fountain, Gene, you, <laughs> yes. you whoever you all are Sit bad. Down. <laughs> yeah. Elena Martin, Marilyn, Tony. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Every time. Mm-hmm. You're just so worked up, so. I've done that to my sister before. I've called my sister Riley. Like I've called my sister my niece's name. Mm-hmm. Like, all oh, right. She's like, what? Because she's the offspring of that uh, yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just used to like if I'll spend saying, yeah. I'll spend a day with my niece and then I'll just i be used to calling her that all day. Mm-hmm. Hey, come over here, Riley. Come here. You know, I'm just say it to my. Oh, sister I used to accident. call my kids the dog's name all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. You know. Uh, so they and detour and you know, pound cake's not alone in that. Hey, you saw that the mob is fine. I don't know if you have any designs on, uh, I, I think, I mean, A, you're a rat. You've been established as being a rat. <laughs> no, that's the, not the, the mob is finally uh, allowing gay members. Oh, wow. Well, I'm happy for them. By the time they get on board. They always had gay members. They the Cosa no- This shows you how far the Cosa Nostra has fallen in the United States. Now they're opening it up to gay members. As long as they don't, quote, parade it in public. Mm. See, <laughs> that even the mob is like, all right, if you got to be uh, fagala was the word, you know, mm-hmm. back in the day. If you got to do that, then, uh, you know, just keep it to yourself. I mean, it does. Makes, don't, tell, don't ask, don't tell makes sense in the mob. But that's yeah. with everything. That's like with murder and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You, you don't, don't need to know. The less information you have, the better. Right. Yeah. And that's the thing. I can't be a rat if you don't tell me anything. Don't involve me in your dirt. Sim- plain and simple. If you murder somebody, I'm not going to help you hide the body. I'm not going to, like, not tell the police. Stay away from me. Do they get cool mob names? Tight Lips Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Two Fingers Tommy. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. In 1992, a New Jersey mob boss named John Johnny Boy D'Amato, who was the head of the De Cavalcante family, was shot dead by one of his own soldiers after it came out that he was homosexual. Mm-hmm. Well, remember they had a gay character in The Sopranos yeah, who ended yeah. up getting mm-hmm. killed. But, you know, Vinny the, the Vacuum Ventura. Nah. <laughs> Why they call him the Vacuum Ventura? <laughs> well, because he's very yeah. neat, Pound yes. Cake. Very, very neat. He's. I want to get you in the gay mob. I want to put you in the gay mob. It works. So it's good to know that they're moving themselves into the... 19th century, I guess. Dragging themselves (laughs) kicking and screaming in there. Of course, the older bosses still aren't fans of it. They're old school, but, you know, back in the day, if they even thought you were a homosexual, they were going to kill you just for that. Gay men are resourceful. You'll never find anybody more loyal. And they're plugged in. They know the gossip. They know the drama. They're the ears. Let's talk about the fashion aspect of being in the mob. They like to look great. Exactly. They're going to be so fashion so, forward. Yeah, so why not employ some of the uh, the Fab Five? Crushed velvet suit. Yeah. And they'll have all the chains. Be- they'll have all the best storefronts. Wig stores, makeup stores. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like bag stores, everything. You When you hide your, when a gay comes through the airport with like 19 bags, they're like, oh, girl, you know, he's just going to another convention. In reality, it's Honestly. just filled with coke. <laughs> right. <laughs> What? You make I'm, I'm, you're you're making point. great points. I'm just is what I'm saying. saying. Yeah. A, a gay, what no one would ever believe. It's just yeah. like the one, like the 19 year old that was helping the FBI. You get you, you get yourself the biggest queen you can find. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Lo- load his stuff up. Oh, like, is that funny to you? Am I a clown? <laughs> Do I make you laugh like a clown? <laughs> I just want to put my bags on my carry on, and I just want to be left alone. And I don't like, think they're talking about RuPaul. Mm-hmm. I think they're talking about some guys who maybe have been trained I'm to keep it under wraps. And then they get on the plane. They're like, Raul, it's oh. a go. Oh girl. <laughs> oh girl, I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> or at least you won't want to. <laughs> Raul. All right. Yes, Wadfather. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've um <laughs> that is the segment name. <laughs> Do I have to call you father? Or can I call you Zaddy? Because I prefer Daddy? Zaddy. I've got to um, break. <laughs> I'll have, have to. Chris McQuanzica tickets for you on the way back. It's uh, Bill Squire's Chris McQuanzica, to be precise, on the 29th of this month at the Agora with Mary and uh, Wanda Mayfield.